We blow minds here on Guide to Space, and all we want is for you to start watching, especially on a topic that you knew something about, and then you say, whoa, and then you realize the cosmic scope of an idea like black holes or gamma ray bursts or the Fermi paradox. Today, I think some kind of warning is in order. We're going to blow your mind so thoroughly that you're going to be a hollowed out shell for the next few days. You're going to stumble around glassy eyed and almost catatonic state as you contemplate the humbling awesomeness of the universe. Let's start with a familiar landscape, the implications of infinite time and space. The universe might be infinite in space. And once you're talking about infinity, a lot of strange ideas join the party over at Prismos. Even if the universe isn't infinite in space, it'll most likely be infinite in time, expanding at an accelerating pace thanks to the leftover momentum from the Big Bang and dark energy. One way or another, there's infinity in play. Thanks to quantum mechanics, the universe is all about probabilities. The air inside your living room is most likely going to remain evenly spaced so you can breathe it and stay conscious. But there's a teeny, tiny chance, a chance so small it's not worth considering, that all the atoms of air in the room will spontaneously shift their position into one tiny corner, or maybe to the Andromeda galaxy. The chances are small, it'll practically never happen. But once you're dealing with forever, however, almost never means sometimes always. You can imagine a situation in an incomprehensible amount of time where quantum fluctuations spontaneously generate a hydrogen atom floating in space, or perhaps a sperm whale, or pot of petunias. We're talking a seriously long amount of time, long after all the stars have used up their hydrogen and died. Long after even the most supermassive black holes have evaporated away. If you could wait long enough, these quantum fluctuations would just pop things into existence. One of the most compelling ideas is this concept of a Boltzmann brain, named after the physicist Ludwig Boltzmann. It's possible that entire, fully conscious minds could appear randomly in the cosmos. Keep rolling the dice for an infinite amount of time, and eventually you're going to get that paladin with 18 charisma, 18 strength, and a dreamy voice like Patrick Stewart. The chances of this are 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 50. That is a huge number. Trust me, you're going to need more pencils to even write it out. Actually, you could turn every atom of the universe into a pencil and it wouldn't be enough. Just imagine what it would be like for that self-aware conscious entity that suddenly appeared floating in a completely empty cosmos, contemplating the mystery and wonder of all that vast nothingness. Perhaps this is a bunch of telepathic screaming because one thing this peculiar brain was missing was the ability to survive in a vacuum. Now, then imagine an entire planet orbiting a sun-like star filled with human beings and other life. Again, that number is even more incomprehensibly small, but it's not zero. And so, in a universe of infinite space, those things are popping up an infinite number of times. And in infinite time, it'll happen an infinite number of times. And now I shall deliver the final mind-bending blow. Imagine you took all the particles and energy in the entire universe, all the protons, photons, neutrons, hadrons. There's a tiny, tiny chance that all those particles could suddenly appear in an infinitely dense region of space and undergo a rapid expansion. In other words, it's possible that another Big Bang could spontaneously appear in an infinite amount of time. How long? Physicist Sean Carroll has done the math. You need to wait 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 56 years for it to happen. It's a long time, but it's not forever. And so, in an infinite amount of time, you'll get an infinite number of Big Bangs spontaneously appearing in a finite universe, or an infinite number of Big Bangs happening all the time in an infinite universe. I dropped my mic now, but it's kind of clipped on in my shirt here, so imagine that's just what I did. Can't wrap your mind around these ideas? Don't worry. 
Just wait a nearly infinite amount of time and a better version of me will spontaneously appear and explain them a little better. Thanks, Infinity. We love to bend minds here at the Guide to Space. What ideas should we talk about next? Post your suggestions in the comments and stick around for the blooper. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe or like it on Facebook. Never miss an episode. And if you're into other facts like this, here's our link to our Life in the Universe playlist. Thanks to Christine Cook, Dan Jacobs, and our friends over at Tin Shark Fountain Works and the members of the Guide to Space community who keep these shows rolling. Love space science, want to see episodes before anyone else, got extras, contests, and shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Get in the action. Click here. Post your comments in the. Oh.